Hello, everyone, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I am Zoe, and today we were supposed to talk about the Vienna shows. We were going to recap those. We were going to talk about the London shows coming up. Obviously, a lot has happened in the last week or so in the world of Taylor Swift, in just the world in general. I made a short about it last week when the news broke about Taylor's concerts being canceled, but haven't done a full episode since the news happened. Um, So I figured now we've had a few days to kind of collect all of our thoughts to sort of fully figure out what has gone on and what's been happening. I feel like now it's maybe as good a time as any to talk about what happened in Vienna and just what's gone down. And um, I don't know, it's a it's a very delicate thing to talk about because obviously it involves terrorism. It involves the safety of thousands and thousands and thousands of people who just so happen to be Taylor Swift fans. It's incredibly upsetting. It's incredibly sad. On one hand, I am devastated for all the fans who didn't get to go and experience the Eras tour. And we'll get into all of that. The people who flew from all over the world to go to Vienna, who paid a lot of money, who had these trips planned for so long, and how just sad that whole thing is. But on the other hand, I'm so grateful and so thankful that the shows were canceled, that everybody was able to be safe, essentially and that nothing terrible happened. Obviously, the people who are upset about the shows being canceled have a right to be upset. That's that's tough. <laughs> that, that you know, and I I've always said like many things can be true at once. You can be so grateful and so thankful that you're safe and that your safety was put first, and you can also be upset and sad that you didn't didn't get to go to the Eras tour. Both things can be true. But let's rewind a little bit. So obviously, as many of us know, all three of Taylor Swift's shows were canceled in Vienna after um, three men were arrested who have connections to ISIS um, for allegedly plotting a terrible terrorist attack at um, Taylor Swift's shows in Vienna. Um, and those those men were arrested, I believe, on Wednesday of last week. Um, so right before Taylor's first show in Vienna on Thursday. And initially, I remember hearing, I think when the news first broke out about these arrests, um, it wasn't clear as to whether or not the shows would continue on or not. I think initially, the belief was that she would continue to perform. Um, but then a few hours later, it then came out that the uh, promoter of the concerts canceled the shows, which was the right thing to do. A hundred percent was the right thing to do. Um, and I think even though, again, it was devastating for lots and lots of fans, safety always, always comes first. So I'm very glad that the shows were canceled. Um, and it was just so shocking. I mean, obviously, these types of things, I mean, they they do happen um, very rarely, but they, but they do happen. Um, but Taylor herself has been you know, unfortunately, like I I was thinking about when this news came out, I was thinking about Taylor just a few days earlier, posting that statement about those kids who died in England at a Taylor Swift dance class after they were stabbed. Um, And about how terrible that was. And, um, and then fast forward, you know, a few days, a week or so later, she's then having to deal with this terrible situation that threatened the lives of so many of her fans. I can't even imagine what you'd be thinking and what would be going through your head. Obviously, immense relief that it didn't happen, that everyone's okay, everyone's safe. But at the same time, I think it, I think Taylor's talked about this in the past and she's even mentioned how nervous she is going on tour and for the safety of her fans, especially given what happened at, you know, Ariana Grande's concert a number of years ago, like, and just the concern that she has for the safety of her fans. And I think on one hand, you're always kind of thinking about that to some degree, right? Um, Whether it's, you know, their safety, like in the pit and making sure that people have enough 
water and that they're they have enough space and all that kind of stuff but then also just like outside threats as as well um but this has to put that all just like it has to make it feel so 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 real because of course it was so close to happening which is just devastating um and like I said I feel so terribly I'm sure like many of you I saw a lot of TikToks and social media posts from fans who were supposed to go to these concerts who were in the air flying to Vienna when they found out the news and people who were planning to go with their families and who had planned for months and all this stuff and just of course that's so devastating um and those people are allowed to be upset about the shows being canceled and um are allowed to grieve that because that's that's really, really, really tough. I think at the other hand too, of course, like I said, safety is first. And the most important thing is that people are safe. And so it was just a terrible situation all around, though I did love, I'm sure many of you saw on social media, all the Swifties who came together in Vienna, people singing in the streets and trading friendship bracelets and really trying to make the most out of just a really unfortunate situation all around. Um, and there are there are worse places to be stuck than Vienna, Austria, a beautiful country, a beautiful city. So I do hope that if people went to that to or were planning to go to the show and were in Vienna, I hope they had a great time. I hope that they... Um, enjoyed the city, had a good vacation, enjoyed themselves, all that kind of stuff. Because, um, yeah, it's just so terrible all around. She obviously has her London shows coming up this week. Those shows are still a go. They're still happening. There was a part of me that was thinking like, will Taylor even, will, will, will she cancel this show? Like, will she, or shows, will, will, will she still perform? But she's still going on with the shows. Um, I did see obviously that security will be tightened at these shows and that they're also not going to let fans stand around outside Wembley stadium. Like so many people do. Um, and they're going to keep, make sure that it's relatively, um, open for people to get in, to get out, uh, and just to keep people safe, you know, just, just to keep those, those people safe. So if you're planning to go to London or you're planning to stand around outside of the stadium, don't um one because they're gonna tell you not to and they're gonna they're gonna send you on your way but also just for your safety i think it's for the best to um to to not um but i do hope that that those shows go on well i mean they're the last shows of the european leg of the tour so i hope that everybody has a great time i hope taylor enjoys herself on stage i hope the fans have a great time and i just hope i hope we can end this era's tour on a high note um, with joy and with positivity and love and not with fear and just, I don't know, sadness and all the other feelings that I think so many of us felt this past week. Um, and for Taylor's sake too, like this has been a long leg of the tour. It's been long. She's been on this, on this stretch for a while. And so for her sake, I hope that she's able to just enjoy herself and have fun. Um, and then she's done. She's done with that leg of the tour. I assume that she will fly back to, I kind of think she'll fly to Kansas City to be with Travis, but I also wouldn't be surprised if maybe she goes to, to New York, um, sees her friends, spends time with her family. I mean, gosh, she deserves to have a break. Um, and I'm sure she's looking forward to the time off and just to relax and again, be with her friends, be with her family. Um, and then as we know, she'll be back on tour in October in Miami. So not too long of a break, but she will get some time off, which I'm sure she's looking forward to. First Chiefs game, September 5th in Kansas City. So everyone mark your calendars um, and get ready for that. I'm sure that will be a big deal and will be a, lo a lot of fun. So here's to ending the Eras Tour, the European leg of the Eras Tour on a high note. Um, and I hope the shows go off without a hitch and I hope that they're wonderful. and Everybody has a fantastic time. We'll be back next week to recap those shows, to talk about everything that transpired. Um, and then we'll be on our way to football season, which will be so much fun to recap because we didn't get to recap football season. Not really. We, I think we started this show during the playoffs last year or last season. Um, so this will be our first regular season that we'll get to talk about together, which I'm looking forward to. Um, 
And yeah, well, and then of course, Eras Tour will be back up again. I'll be going to the Eras Tour in November. So we have lots to discuss in the coming weeks and months. Hope you all are doing well and enjoying yourself. As always, make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.